would have thought when we originally had the idea five years ago the idea was to get sydney solders to switch their lights off in fact it was it was literally just to get the foreshore to switch their lights off that was the hope and intention at that stage and who would have thought over five thousand cities in 147 countries so yeah it's good todd has it lost any of its impact over the five or six years that it's been running obviously there is some criticism perhaps it's had its day mm. that you know initially it got the message out there fantastic but now, in fact, uh, if we look globally, perhaps there's some fatigue as far as climate change is concerned. It's, it's an interesting debate. And first of all, I think the scepticism is a good thing because, you know, science had told us we'd be in an ice age right now. But I think the scepticism is really good. The issue has been in Australia. Ironically, this is an Australian idea created in Sydney. And the issue really has been the growth in this country. It's grown year on year, but the massive growth is globally. It has taken off globally. It's the opposite of that. In fact, it's got a lot of traction because people around the world want to participate. They want to at least be a part of doing something good for the environment. But does that just come down to the feel-good factor? They switch off the light thinking, well, I'm doing something for the planet. Yeah, both. Right, so this has always been designed as a symbolic movement to get people to pause for an hour, speak to their kids, loved ones, family and friends about the environment. And that can't be a bad thing with the intention of them taking action afterwards and being individually accountable for it. It was never designed to reduce energy. Like people look at it and go, oh, it doesn't, you know, it's offset by candles. and all. It, That was never the intent. The original idea was designed to get mums, dads, kids, families, loved ones to stop once a year for an hour to pause and think about how they could live a more sustainable or better life for the environment. And even Andrew Bolt would agree that that's a good idea. In the